Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for cancer. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising with Venus placements and cancer, or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. All right. All right. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. We have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Eight of Swords in reverse. Some of you guys could be Cancer Leo, Leo Cuspers. This might be your message. Um, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Four of Cups in reverse. The Ace of Cups. Clarify the Page of Pentacles in reverse. The Seven of Cups. The Hermit Virgo energy. Okay. Okay. The Five of Cups on the back of the deck. Somebody is trying to... Somebody has learned some type of difficult lesson here. Somebody feels like... some someone's, try, someone's starting to heal from some type of painful ending or some type of what they viewed as maybe a betrayal. Like, there's some type of lesson here. Somebody also maybe went through a very, like, difficult and painful cycle that has come to an end, but they're, they were still healing from it and they're still re-healing, re-healing, still, st I can't talk, still healing, healing from it. Goodness. Right. Somebody is like, it could be a financial loss. Somebody's stressing over their money. Somebody's trying to heal from something and also trying to recover like their financial situation, like, or someone's also trying to like heal from the fact that they feel like they missed an opportunity or something like that, or they lost an opportunity, but somebody definitely is, I feel like maybe and somebody is also starting to feel like they have deeper feelings for you as they're healing and as they're going through whatever they're going through right now, they're starting to realize that they have a lot of emotion for you. They have, someone's realizing that they have deeper feelings for you than they thought, but it's like, they're looking at you as a missed opportunity. It's like somebody is real. Somebody is very well, very well aware that they love you, that they have deep emotions for you, but they also view you as a missed opportunity and that they feel like they have no choice, but to just try to heal from this and move on. But someone's trying to figure out like, well, what do I do now? Or something, seven of cups, ace of swords in reverse. I mean, eight of swords in reverse, the hermit. Someone is like still trying to make up their mind about something. Maybe somebody's still trying to decide if maybe they feel like they can recover this with you or if they should just let it go. Yeah. Very well aware of how they feel about 333 on the camera as I'm saying that. Maybe there's also maybe there's some type of change that this person feels like they need to make. Or I don't know. There's something that this person's still indecisive about. But I feel like someone's done a lot of thinking. They've done a lot of reflecting. Somebody could have either been feeling trapped in a situation with the Virgo or somebody is like starting to, it's like they're coming out of some type of hermit mode or freeing themselves from something. Mm. What is the eight of swords reverse? The king of swords reverse. Yeah, they're, they've gained some type of new awareness about something because they weren't seeing something clearly or let's see, they weren't seeing the truth about something. Page of wands. Oh, someone you're about to hear from somebody. It could be a Taurus for some of you. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We all have fire here as well. This person, but this is same old, same old though. This is same old, same old energy. You may hear from somebody, but I feel like they haven't changed. Again, didn't I see, I said the three, three, three on the camera. Somebody knows that they still need to, why, then why are they coming to, what is this? The king to manipulate these, the magician in the reverse and the king of cups in reverse. That's two cards of manipulation. Okay. 
What are they trying to manipulate you for? Oh, this person doesn't want to take accountability for something. Ooh, some type of secrets could have been revealed or some type of truth came out. Ooh, this person is wanting to come back towards you and like kind of sweep something under the rug like it didn't happen. Like they're not wanting to come in and take accountability. For some of you, they're going through legal issues. Or for some of you, they're going through bad karma and it's making them realize something. Tell me, give me one more card. Pisces energy, Libra energy. No, this is this person trying to get over on you or something. Have control over you. Still being very stubborn and wanting things their way or the highway. They're not thinking this through very well. Mm, very egotistical here. It's like their pride and their ego won't let them admit that they did something wrong or that something didn't go in their favor. For some of you, some type of court situation didn't go in their favor or something just, something didn't, so they're not coming toward you being very honest or they don't want you to know that they've been going through it. They've been going through bad karma. Give me one more card. The queen of swords in reverse. What's this? Have? Oh, what does this have to do with um cancer? The devil, Let's see, Capricorn energy, the two. Yeah, what's this have to do with cancer though? The tower. There was a lot of conflict between you and this person. What about this queen of swords in reverse though? The three of swords. Yeah, I feel like this person had another person. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I feel like they had somebody else who's very cold. Yeah, somebody they could have even got rejected elsewhere. They yeah, they could have got rejected or they think you're about to reject them. What what happened with this queen of swords in reverse? Whoever this person is. Now we have this person could have had a lot of different people they were dealing with. Oh, they're trying to play the victim in a situation or something here. Somebody that was like giving something to them could have, um, cause somebody that was giving to them could have stopped giving to them. That's why they're trying to get their finances together because if somebody was helping them financially, they're no longer giving them money. Interesting. I'm going to use this deck. Grip by obsession. Strong attachment, fixated thinking. They're obsessed with you. String it, but yep, to string you along, dragging out the relationship, keeping you as a plan B. Yeah. But falling in love with you. Early stages, awakening heart. What is, I told you, someone's realizing that they do have deeper feelings for you. What about this other stringing along, clearing negative energy? This person wants to string you along until they remove some type of obstacle or block. It could be financial. What is this blockage? Questions and doubts. Yeah, they still are not sure about you. They're still confused about you. That's why they're not offering much. They're hesitant when it comes to you. Love bombing. Yeah, I told you. This person tries to come in and love bomb you to not take accountability for something or for things that they do to you. They, they're like very manipulative, charming. They go, yeah, can't be trusted. Yep, very clear. Yeah, taking action. They're going to take action towards you, but fear says you can't trust them. What is worth waiting for? Only wants you. But why is can't be trusted here? Fate or destiny, okay? And knows your worth. So you guys know there's going to be a time where you know you can't trust this person and they're going to be taking action towards you, but... Or you have somebody that's coming in that's going to treat you right. And Spirit says that person is worth waiting for. Somebody that only wants you. So what's that do with this past, this love bomber? Boundary check and change of heart, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, they're having this change in perspective that they have like these deep emotions for you because you're enforcing some type of boundaries here with this person and protecting yourself from them. Now, all of a sudden, major change in feelings or thoughts. In what way? This change of heart energy has been coming out. Now they're like hoping you'll text them. Look, looking through your old messages. Yeah, what is this? Now they want to build a life with you. Now they want to start a family. Why? Thinking of you, but why though? Oh, what about it's beyond repair? Ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Second chances. <laughs> it's when they think you're really done with the... Okay, I'm getting a, a, a few different messages here. I'm going to have to get another card. But for some of you, it's because something else that they were holding on to, that is a done deal. 
I'm telling you, they're trying to recover from something. And while they were going through whatever the hell they were going through, they started looking at you differently. I'm telling you. And they're, it's like they're realizing that another situation is hopeless. Like that's a bro, that's done. That's a done deal. Whatever they were putting you in co competition with, whether you knew it or not. For some, and also I'm also getting this person starting to feel like now they didn't also completely ruin things with you. But something else didn't work out. They're wanting a second chance with you. What is, it's beyond repair and comparing app options. They were staying in a situation because of work and finances. Yeah, it was on the back of the deck. So yeah, no second chances again. Yeah. What's this have to do with my collective? This is you guys. Yeah, now they feel like you're your, their, you are their perfect match. Now that you are enforcing boundaries, now they feel like you're abandoning them. Now they're sad. Now they want to devote themselves to you. Like, why were they stringing you along? They were staying in some type of situation for financial reasons, or they were just more focused on their job and getting their stability together than this connection with you, but also like wanting to kind of string you along and manipulate you into just settling for some crumbs. Like, that's not fair. Like, that's why you're fed up with this person. So, um, what, what, tell me more about why this person was stringing them along. Well, we have twin flame love. They do have a hard time letting you go just because of that itself. Ooh, romance in the workplace. What about that? They will return. What about romance in the workplace? Marriage material. What's, that, what's romance in the workplace mean for cancer? Bad habits. Mm, repetitive bad patterns. No change. Thinking of calling. What is friends first? They was messing around with somebody at their job or there was somebody that they were choosing over you or dealing with or something that they were choosing that had something to do with work and money over you. And now they feel really guilty and regretful. But I feel like that, whatever that others, the whole operation blew up. Okay. That's done. Whatever they had going on in regards to their money. Cause they're definitely trying to recover their financial situation right now. What? Okay. Anyways, <laughs> moving along. boundaries they love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them yeah you guys are in your yep and it's sending this person right into the dark night of the soul or they're already in the midst of it but yeah they're experiencing massive upheaval it's like whatever they thought was stable or was was like secure that's done the, the, the divine completely tore that shit up for them i don't know how else to put it but like whatever this false sense of stability or whatever they were holding on to that really wasn't working for them. It was, but it wasn't working for them. That's done. That, that, that's, they're going through upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. I told you, and now as they're going through this dark night of the soul, they are starting to become, it's becoming very clear to them that they are deeply in love with you. They always have been, but it's like, you had to like set these boundaries with this person before they, they could really see the truth. Unfortunately, yeah, lack of faith. Leaving you out in the cold has been one of their biggest regrets, Regrets, which has made them lose hope in the situation. Temptation. Yeah, each day gets harder and harder to resist what they know in their heart to be true. They see you as the forbidden fruit. We have the mask. They want to remove the mask they've been wearing and be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. You have family tree. There's cultural differences, different values, beliefs, or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. Interesting. So family or something like that, or the way that they were raised or their culture was an issue as well. But it says the gods favor you. Now is the time your prayers have been heard and you will succeed and be vindicated. They feel like you are literally an unknown. They were staying in their comfort zone. Stabil what they felt view as was secure and stable. Tell me about family tree. All right, that's too many. What about family tree? This card really wanted to come out. So they're gaining maybe some type of new perspective about some type of value, belief, tradition, something to do with their family your cultural something they're, they're looking at it differently they gained a new perspective they're seeing how their family or like their their culture negatively affected this connection they've gained a new perspective and not and see how they failed you by their own self-sabotaging behaviors yeah they're in solitude they they may not be speaking to you or like they may i see them talking to you but it may be after they come out of this hermit mode they're going through the dark night of the soul but once they go through this they're going to be very clear about how they feel about you. They're going to be coming out of this confusion energy. 
they're also going to maybe free themselves from something. It could be their own mind, their own fears. But it's like for right now, there, it says that time spent in solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves better and set a more solid foundation. And we have the fight. Their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. Yeah, that's the Eight of Swords in reverse. Let's get a couple of these. So it's like they're in hermit mode right now. But they're going to be fighting for you very soon. They're gearing up to fight for you. Yep. I am. What did I just say? I am understanding our relationship and our connection. What I once thought was trivial was something more on a higher consciousness. I couldn't understand it then, but I do now. We have, I know there is a huge age gap. I don't even know if it was age. For some of you, it was maturity level. It was age. For some of you, it's cultural. Like we saw something like that difference in beliefs, views, religions, whatever it was. It says, I know there is a huge age gap between us and some may even object because of that. However, we are similar in many ways, regardless of our differences. I think you were, you were outside of their comfort zone. They're not used to being with somebody like you. Yep. This money, I'm telling you, I'm not feeling fulfilled in my life. Therefore I'm chasing money and status as a way to increase my self-worth. I also feel I'm not equipped to handle our connection and rather focus on what I can control. Yep. Infatuation. Being carried away by unreasonable passion, obsessively strong emotions for someone based on physical needs and or believing it is the perfect rela relationship. All right, let's do one more of these. We have, let's see, they were listening to their family or something. I'm telling you. They were, yeah, they were trying, they were listening to their family. Their, maybe their family, they felt like you were very different from what they were used to. You were, their family was trying to tell them that y'all, you guys are too different or something like that. I was foolish to believe the opinions of others. I should have trusted my heart more than what others thought about our connection. Please forgive me for doubting our connection. Yep, there's that dark night of the soul again. I'm fighting my demons and re-examining my actions. It is life-altering and also extremely painful. At times, I fight against the changes, but I know I'm, it must happen for me to evolve. Yep. There is so much for me to tell you, but I am unable to express myself in a rational way, so I'd rather stay quiet. It's like they're trying to find the words and how to explain to you something. We keep replaying the same story over and over again, and it never ends well. When, when are we going to, to do better so we can be better? Hmm. All right. Um, what was I going to take a look at next? toxic behavior it's like this person's about to start realizing that they they were the problem like they listened to the wrong people they were denying that they were toxic and that they had a pattern and that they need they, they were just denying a lot of things and when they go into this dark night of the soul they're going to start realizing how much they loved you and how much you didn't deserve this and how they sabotaged this and because like that card said it says that like they're going to be re-examining everything that has occurred between the two of you. And it's going to be, it's going to change them. And it's going to be very painful. It's going to be very painful. And it's going to be a big wake-up call for this person. Because they're going to, oh, this person thought the grass was greener. They could have chose somebody over you because of money or somebody that they worked with. I saw it. Or they maybe thought they wanted to maybe explore their other options. Yeah, because Seven of Cups here, they wanted to keep their options open. Because didn't I see a lot of feminine, was it your reading? Maybe it was Aries reading that I just did, but some of you guys, I don't know, but we have grasses. We're trying to replace you and believe they can find someone better. Mm. Testing the waters before making a big decision. They want to test the waters and make sure you feel the same. Yeah. Detox period, cleaning up their life and getting ready to start a new life with you. We have, didn't we have, yeah. Twin flame already came out, I think, or maybe it was the, maybe it was Aries again, but maybe you guys are dealing with an Aries, but yeah, it says that if there was any doubt, they are your twin flame and they're ready for union. So Right now, they're still going through an awakening and they still have commitment issues and they're afraid of rejection, but they miss you and they are going to end up making a choice, but it's just not right now. But there will be a, an opportunity if you want it for a new beginning and they're actually going to give it a fair chance. This person's realized that they never gave this connection a fair chance too. And it's like, they're going to want to come in and do the exact opposite of what they've done already with you if you're, if that's what you want. Okay. Um, let's see.
this could be manifesting sometime in the springtime. This when they want to actually come in and have this new beginning with you. Let me see what else we have here. Um, they definitely, it's just when they, they heal. Yeah. Can focus on you. Yeah. This is very, actually very similar to Aries reading. Now that I'm thinking about it, devoid of light commitment issues. There's something about things are going to happen. This Things are going to change in the situation when you really, they really think you've let them go. Like, yeah, that's when they're going to stop. That's when they're going to make a choice about you when you shift your focus away from them. Um, yeah. Yep. And this, see, I don't, yeah, sacred sexuality. Honor yourself and your body as the sacred vessel that it is and refuse to give yourself away to those who do not honor and respect you. Mm. Yeah. We have find your target. When you're in alignment with the universe, you will not miss your mark. Get clear on your desires and your intentions. Yeah. Thrive. Make the best of the blessings in your life and concentrate on what's working and your angels are clearing the way for you. I feel like this person has not, has been wanting to keep their options open, but they, they have no problem coming in and wanting to sleep with you. And that's not okay. I mean, if that's something that you're okay with, that's cool. But for those of you that, for whoever I'm reading for there, that's not what you want. So yeah, we have new opportunities. Better things are opening up for you. Leave the comfort zone behind and open your world to a new possibilities with an open mind. That's for this person. I told you. They chose comfort or stability. Mm-hmm. There's an area of your life that has more potential than you think. Small things can turn into big wonders. Your prayers are being heard and they're going to be answered. Wounded healer. Mm. You're unlocking true and deep personal healing to help you navigate your way back to balance and elevate your life. The unseen. So yeah, something, the divine's doing something with this when it comes to you and this person behind the scenes. And they're kind of just telling you to kind of like fall back and let them deal with this person for right now, especially because boundaries is on the back of the deck. So yeah, that boundaries is a big thing with this reading. The unseen, there's a greater force at work behind the scenes, taking care of all the details, let go of your specific expectations. All they're telling you to do is hold good boundaries, hold, stand firm in your boundaries. Don't let this person use you because I do see them maybe trying to want to just sleep with you and that being their intention. Like they do have, like they want some, like they're going to end up realizing that they want, they have a lot deeper feelings for you than they, people, unfortunately guys don't know what they have, really realize what they have sometime until they, they think it's gone or until it is gone. This person has to feel the absence of what you've been doing for them and giving them for them to understand how significant it was, unfortunately. It's like this person took you for granted. And they're about to realize that boundaries, when you don't protect or overprotect your boundaries, your needs go unmet, renew, review and renew your boundaries. All right, y'all, that's what I have for you. I hope that this resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.